Well, hey, hey guys, um, just, just a quick update, a quick channel update here. So I've been a little inactive on the internet in the last year, but that does not mean I have not been active with playing guitar or playing music in general. I've actually been playing a lot of music, a lot of guitar over the last year, and I've actually been doing quite a bit of recording and learning some new recording techniques, so I hope that will help out. Uh, one of the things I recently did is actually buy a bass. I'm pretty pumped about that. One of the reasons that I've been a little inactive, I spent a lot of time last summer, A, I was just trying to enjoy my summertime a little bit. Don't blame me here. I mean, it, it was nice out. It's winter time here in Canada most of the time. Let's face it, most of the people who watch this are going to be in Canada and know, what the f know where I live and what it's like out. I Two people somewhere else might care. Anyway, so I was busy with I was busy with the house and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I did do some recording last year. I recorded a handful of demos and some new ideas. And uh, the cool part is right now I've got two new songs that are actually going to be coming out. One, well, the two I should say I have two new recordings that are going to be coming out in the next little while. Uh, one's actually going to be a cover. Don't need to be, don't mean to be copying uh, guys like E Rock or Frog Leap Studios. But I had the idea for probably like four years or more, probably before at least one of those guys made it popular. Anyway, I finally got around to recording that, so I got to record the bass for that. I've got another one, all the guitars are done. I've, I'm probably going to do a crappy vocal track, but you'll know once you hear what the genre is. I'm not going to give any more away. But if you've been following me on social media, especially on Instagram, where I do my most, the most of my posting, you'll know, probably know what I'm doing. And if you go back to my last YouTube video, not Wavemaker, the very last one is probably man reacts to terrible guitar faces or some crap like that, you'll probably get an idea of what the cover is actually uh, gonna, gonna be. And uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do quite for a video for that yet, but it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some ridiculous ones, promote them through like Promolta or something like that. Get them, get them out there. Hopefully, get some of this stuff going. Um, I think over the next, over the next year, I think I'm gonna try over this year, 2018. I'm gonna try to at least put out a video a month. That'd be pretty cool. Unfortunately, this one has to be this little bit of a vlog format thing. I haven't really had a whole lot of time to get something put out yet. Well, we're getting around to it. We're getting around to it. One thing I recently, I've recently bought a bass. I'm pretty pumped about that. It's an Ibanez BTB five string. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, 35 inch scale neck with Bartolini pickups and an active EQ. Anyway, so I've been trying to learn a little bit better finger style playing. So I'm not always playing with a pick. So anyway, I'm going to be recording bass. So now I don't have to borrow a bass. Get somebody else to play bass. Or I straight up just didn't play bass at all. And that's really, uh, that's not good. Bass honestly adds so much more to your guitar tone. That's what really drives your music. Uh, I just want to approach it like a bass player uh, and not a guitar player. Another thing I should talk about, I've got into doing a lot more photography with this camera. One of my bigger followings right now is actually Instagram. It's not really a big following at the moment. It is slowly growing. Um, but it's, it also really stems from playing guitar overall, and I ended up buying this camera to do better videos. I never really intended on becoming a photographer, but I ended up learning how to use the camera quite a bit, and I ended up picking up photography, so I, I post a lot more to my Instagram. I ended up changing the handle of that. In a lot of my videos, it says at Bauer Guitar One. My Twitter has stayed the same, completely inactive half the time, and we should get around to using that more. My Instagram has changed to Brian underscore Bauer One. So definitely, uh, if you want to check out my photography, and I do post some guitar clips and stuff like that, you can definitely go check them out there. It's a lot of little teasers or just things I'm jamming on that I wouldn't typically put on a YouTube channel. Check me out there. Maybe I'll do some actual vlogging that's got nothing to do with guitar we will see what's up but I would like to do a lot more music this year on YouTube that would be awesome um, I've got my own space now to work on this stuff in terms of music another thing that I've actually been doing has been uh, uh, helping out a rapper uh, Elicit aka uh, Kyle Parker he let me some uh, monitors and actually a mic and he comes over and he works with this so I get to use this stuff for my own music as well and uh, I help him record some music we so far recorded one song with a, another a local vocalist who she's really good 
and I've been just learning some mixing and stuff doing that. So I've been playing a little bit of the uh, engineer game as well. Anyway, I'm really pumped. I hope that we can get a couple of videos out here in the, in the next so many months, a couple months or so. I think you guys will really enjoy them, especially the original. I'm really pumped about the original. The guitars are all recorded for all the songs. Uh, it's just, I just got the bass, getting my chops up. I think one of them's gonna get a little bit of a crappy vocal track. Unless somebody can sing, if you're true cult, hit me up. So hopefully in the near future, we'll have some new music out. I'm pretty pumped. I'll see you here in the near future. See us.